What up gangsters? It's time for another Adam Parrott's Faves in 5. There would be music playing there if I knew what to do to put music playing there. But I don't. I don't have any music either. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Adam Parrott. I'm a children's author. Award winning. Stop it. Uh, and I'm going to be reviewing on my YouTube channel some of my favourite books from childhood, present day, uh, and but not the future. That's mental. Uh, today's fair, this week's fair, indeed, I'm going to try and do one a week. This week's is The Man by Raymond Briggs. Raymond Briggs, of course, most famous for The Snowman uh, and for the Father Christmas books. There's two of those, I believe, and Fungus the Bogeyman. Uh, they're very famous hits, everyone's heard of those. Uh, wonderful books. This is uh, one of his lesser known works, uh, The Man, which I came across in a remaindered bookshop a long, long time ago as a boy. The works or something like that along those lines, discount book place. I bought it for quite cheap as I recall, I read it, fell in love with it. Uh, and it's been with me ever since. It's constantly got a place on my bookshelves. It's one book I always have and it, uh, out. And I always uh, have, like to have a quick thumb through it because it's so beautifully written. Now, if you can see here, Raymond was quite uh, strange in his approach to picture books. It's more of a graphic novel than a um, standard picture book. And that was uh, the beauty of his style. It wasn't just a typical big picture and then some words underneath it was spread out all throughout uh, and it makes a much more interesting read for it's not just a typical picture book this I'd say is not it's not ideal for for very little children either it's not it's quite a difficult book to read aloud because it's, it's lit like a it's like a Beckett play or Steptoe and Son you know it's just it's a two-hander really between uh, a young boy called John and this man tiny man who one day uh, wakes John up um, and explains that he's one of a, a tiny race of people that are apparently all over but uh, their numbers are dwindling uh, and they have to adopt a family um, to to help them survive because they can't really fend for themselves they stay for three days it's um it's a, it's a rule they have uh, and this story takes place over those three days at first this boy John uh, he's quite enamored by this this tiny little man and I, I I think I'd be the same. I love tiny little uh, creatures like that. I think it's a great thing. Um, Lilliputians, of course, probably the first one. There's Roald Dahl's Minpins. There's the Borrowers, mo probably most famously of all. Um, and I think there's so much adventure in the world. If you are a tiny, tiny person, anything will be uh, far more adventurous just going down the stairs. If you're only a few inches high, it would just be really exciting rather than just running down them as we do now. Um, and that's part of the fascination, I think. There's much more adventure in a world where you're really, really small. Uh, and that is explored in this. However, the dangers of, of being so small as well uh, are, are equally as prevalent. And uh, the man, he, he needs the boy to look after him. And at first, uh, John, the boy, is, uh, is is very happy to do this. He's quite an adventure. He gets him a little table tennis net to sleep in like a hammock. Uh, he makes him some little clothes out of a sock. Uh, the the man will only eat certain foods. He's, he's got quite a rich, tasty. Well, he, John's family only have healthy food in brown bread and skimmed milk and things. And he doesn't like any of that. He likes full fat milk, white bread, uh, marmalade. Um, he doesn't like bran flakes, which is all they've got. Uh, he loves chips, which they never have. So the boy has to buy him all these things out of his pocket money, which at first, you know, he thinks is great. You know, getting he's got his own little secret now. But after a while, it starts to grate on him when it's it's constantly all the time. Um, uh, and he starts getting in trouble. He steals a few of his dad's beers for the man to drink. Um, and he gets in trouble for that. He, he gets, um, there's crumbs everywhere because the man's constantly hungry. So he's making food all the time and he's not got time to clean up. So he gets in trouble for that. Uh, all his pocket money ends up going on the man's food. Uh, and right round about the end bit, things take a very, very sinister kind of turn. Um, and this is, I think, the beauty of this book. Uh, this relationship between this man and this boy it starts off as kind of like slave and master uh, and then it, the, the the slave suddenly says actually you know I don't need to be doing this you, you'd be nothing without me and then the man comes back in and it take I'm not going to say anything that spoils it but it does take a very sinister twist I think some of the best children's books do that they don't just get things get a bit bad and oh no what we're going to do but suddenly out of nowhere this 
this moment where oh that's that's a bit dark that's uh, it's quite sinister and you you're on the edge of your seat then as to what which way this will go which way the writer will take it uh the ending if you know anything about raymond briggs and if anyone who's seen the snowman will know he can really really hit you with a with an ending that just makes you just just cry like like your great aunt leslie um and this is no exception i think this book is a beautiful book that will just get you like that at the end um, I'm not going to give too much away, but it is really worth a go. It's not ideal. I mean, it's, it's got beautiful pictures in, quite big pictures as well. Quite a lot of text, but it is spread out. So it's not ideal, I'd say, for very little children. Not children who'd read picture books like, you know, Harry and his Bucket Full of Dinosaurs or whatever. It's not that kind of book. But for a confident reader, it's a great book to have. Loads of lovely pictures. Raymond Briggs, you can't go wrong. Beautiful at drawing. And this book is beautifully written. Uh, there's a couple of minor, not swear words, but a couple of bits that you th you might not be happy letting very young children read, but it's a beautiful book. I highly recommend it. Man by Raymond Briggs. A lovely story. One of his lesser known works. Tune in next time for my fave in five, and thank you for watching. Take care.